I'll be using a different card this time, okay? Um, I'll be using the Wheel of the Year Tarot. This is really tiny um, compared to the other cards that I actually use, okay? So this one is really small. I don't know why it's so small, but... Anyway, <clears throat> maybe I just picked the wrong size. Ooh, Ten of Swords. Mm-hmm. Some areas also, if you're, um, if you're already engaged, or if you're, um, you know, you're kind of preparing for the wedding and stuff like that, the wedding will be off and there will be a broken engagement because your partner, especially if you're also dating or seeing or with another fire sign right now, there will be a betrayal that you will be discovering, which is with another co-worker, okay? It's been going on for a while or it's been, oops, it's been happening for quite a while now, but you will be, um, you know, you'll just suddenly say like yeah fine just go ahead with your lover and uh you know have your happily ever after okay okay you will be dealing with a betrayal during this month and you thought that everything was okay everything was happy until that you will discover that there is, you know, a uh, love triangle or there's a third party in your relationship. You will be falling sick or you will be so depressed, okay, feeling so frustrated, unfocused, and lost. Because you've been working and working and working and you're just about, you know, to harvest the, uh, the fruits of your labor. And all of a sudden you will just discover that the, you know, the main reason or the main inspiration why you're doing all of this is actually having something on the side now the thing here is some heiress also will find out that you're pregnant and you're not yet ready to you know you're not you you will somehow feel like you're not yet ready for this new thing okay um which is i feel like it's only a face um some of you, if you'll find out that you're pregnant during this month or that you're just recently pregnant or that you just had your result, you know, that you're pregnant. I don't feel like you will tell your partner about this because you have some other plans. But once your partner finds out that you are, um, both of you will be pushing for the wedding. But I don't really feel like it is... It, it will be the kind of life that you will be expecting to be. There will be a lot of clashes, tensions, frustrations. And if ever that you are the one who is committing an infidelity, then your partner will be getting back at you in this way. Or if you are the one who found out that your partner is you know, cheating on you, then you are the one who will be getting back at them in a cruel way. Regardless, your money will keep on growing and you will continuously work harder during this week just for you to, you know, to, let's say, give a good life to your family and to create more bountiful harvests and future for all of you. Yet, you feel so empty emotionally. Okay, you will try to talk. You will try to sit down and discuss you know, whatever happened in the past, but then your partner, expect that they will still be lying, okay? Expect that they are going to be making some promises that they are not going to be committing, but you will soon find out the truth. You will still nail the truth. You will find out who is the other person. You know, all other information and all other stuff that you will be, um, that you will be, um, what do you call this? That you'll be um, digging into, you'll find out. Or if you're with an air sign right now, now, the thing here is, you want to surprise your partner with either you want to move in together or that you want to, 
or that you want to buy a new house you know to surprise your partner that that, that is where you're going to live right after your wedding but the thing here is right now you'll be changing your mind and you're just going to keep it to yourself um, some of you will not just let go of the situation, but will think of another way on how to get back at your partner because of what they have done to you. But uh, you have to listen more to your gut instinct, okay? Because whatever you do, the karma will be getting back at you. The karma will be biting you back and it will also be affecting your finances and your prosperity. You will also uh, plan to travel or you will be traveling starting this week, all right? And because of this, you won't be able to concentrate or you won't be able to, you know, to like really focus on whatever it is that you need to do because you will always think, what if like this? What if like that? What if while I'm away, they're going to be together? What if while I'm busy or while I'm working, they're having sex? Okay. You're going to start thinking about a lot of things and this will be affecting more of your work and there will be a lot of let's say clients or co-workers or even your boss to start thinking that you are not really, you know, that you're not really fit or like your heart is not in this project. So instead of you having that success and having that completion that you've been expecting to, especially by the first week of December, it's going to be pending and your boss or your your co-workers or your clients will start bringing in another person or they will be outsourcing another let's say company or people or help just to complete the project because they feel like you can't do this on your own so there will be some you know there will be a lot of things that you will be you know worried about you also need to reconsider the the amount of the contract that you're about to turn in because if you will not concentrate in your job if you'll not concentrate in this whole thing um definitely it will just end up in something that is not really good or you're just gonna end up in waste okay you're about to have it you're about to win but then this things that's been happening in your personal life is only a distraction okay i also feel like you'll be going back home earlier during this week because you can feel that something is happening somewhere in between and you just want to get down to the bottom line of it okay there's all the warning also if you are um if you're with an air sign right now expect that they will still continuously do whatever it is that they are doing not because that you know i mean just because that you catch them red handedly with whoever they are with it means that they're going to stop no they're still going to continue doing whatever it is that they are doing and they will still rub it off your face that no one can stop them so i feel like in overall this is a time for you to really you know to really let it go and to start thinking what is it that is much more important to you finances will be better but then because of your personal ordeals and personal dilemmas it will be affecting your work delivery your work ethics and your performance to the extent that your clients your co-workers or your team or your boss will feel like you're not really fit okay you're not really competitive enough to to finish this off or to complete the project so they will be outsourcing or they're going to be bringing in another person or another people or another team into the picture which is it's going to be a very big insult to you so expect that there will also be some clashes and arguments and bickering back and forth okay um when it comes to your workplace but try to hold off your temper because this is going to be a very shaky week for you okay and i just feel like you need to be a little bit more patient you know like try to segregate your personal stuff your personal issues towards your work issues because i also try to know if the pain is coming from your heart or coming more from your ego okay 
Now, let's take a look at your relationship cards, okay? What is the message of the angels for you this week? Oh, wealth. Okay, solution. Renew. Oh, wow. Well, like what I said, the TV will still get back together. Meditation. Obsession. And I wonder. Support. Receptivity. Children. Your wealth is always secured. Okay. But the thing here is if you will keep on focusing on, you know, like, you know, this is the reason why this card comes right after the wealth. If you will be over obsessing by this whole matter and if you're not going to find the solution to your problems, this is not actually the first time that this happened to you. It's it's like, you know, it's just it just plays over and over and over again. So it means that there is something that you're doing that you keep on repeating and you haven't really learned the lesson or you haven't really applied the solution to that problem. And whenever you feel so comfortable in a relationship, you feel like it's just going to, you know, go smooth. It's just going to go on like that, that, like nothing. Okay. So and it's if you're still going to get back together. It's not that you're going to say goodbye to each other for, you know, for good, but you need to find like um you know like a like a good advice about your situation and sometimes the problem here is you're asking for advice or you'll be asking for advice but then you know everything's going to go well and then you feel like you're going to ask for another opinion whereas the other opinion it's more, you know, it's more infectious or it's, it's more worse than the first one. And then it will just change the energy again. And that is the reason why your partner also feels a little bit <clears throat> confused. Because sometimes you're so all in and then right afterwards, you're just going to, you know, like take it back. So practice the art of receptivity. You also need to meditate to contain your anger, you know, your your stress that you've been like taking in from work, the pressure, the demands. And sometimes when you feel so overwhelmed with your work and you're feeling so burned out, you tend to take it out on your partner. Okay. Also, your children are also there. Okay. You also need to take them as a, you also need to reconsider them in the picture. So if ever that you will do this or if ever that you will um you're gonna ruin this again uh think long and hard again okay because the team you're still gonna get back together you know back and forth but things will not be progressing or you will just run in circles not unless that you will learn the lesson what the situation is trying to bring you or what the situation is trying to show you all right. Anyway, that's it for you for this week, Aries. And if you want to talk to me live on the phone and live in the calls, just go visit me at my website, ansofyangel.net. Blessings to you.